Welcome to Tales from the Caveside, where Lillian and Chris, we bought a cave house and finca on the outskirts of a small Spanish town. Follow us as we learn to renovate and create a home that we will be proud of. Hi guys, welcome. Hello, it's not very warm. I was going to say, wet and windy Spain. <laughs> yes. I thought I was supposed to stay on the plane and we're in the mountains. I'm sure it's flat <laughs> somewhere around here. <laughs> Dear. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, seeing the pot of gold over the quarry. Yeah, we haven't uh, we haven't uh, been back in the cave since the last video. Um, one day it was just far too cold and it was just miserable and we didn't want to do anything. It was that cold and horrible. And then uh, the second day, as you'll see in this video, was a delivery day. Yes, indeed. Um, we're currently doing these videos as we're doing it. There's no lead time extra there's it's just literally as we're doing it normally we have an extra little bit just in case something goes wrong um but right now we're literally day to day so what you're seeing today was recorded today yeah. <laughs> if you're watching it on the day that it was uploaded yeah. uh, we'll try and fix that because it means that i'm not getting the um the words the, the, the but there's a posh word for words. <laughs> transcript. Yes. I'm not getting the transcript done and into different languages in time, unfortunately. So apologies for that for anybody who's watching in another language. We will get on top of this and we will get better. We're yes. going to have to hurry up because it's just started to rain. Again. <laughs> Reminders for the fairy doors, February 14th. Um, we've got lots of entries and they're looking really good. Everybody's ideas are fantastic. Yes, indeed. Um, and I did. If anybody can remember back when I did the uh, the turkey at Christmas time, um, I did suggest that potentially I'd do a, a chicken for people to see if anybody was interested. And a few people have said they was interested. Um, so that video is up in the next day if you're watching it on Saturday, so Sunday, um, or or whenever. It's not going to be for everybody, not for everybody at all. Um, Con consider it a bonus video if you are interested in how to bone and roll a chicken and if you're not interested we understand completely yep. um <clears throat> yeah chris has actually started shaking it's that cold <laughs> it's properly started to rain again again so enjoy the video yes. if you do hit that thumbs up That's consider it. subscribing if you're not already and comments as always very very welcome catch you later guys so the other thing we forgot to mention to you is um about the gopro going weird um i'll share with you a sample video of the gopro what we sent to gopro because they demanded a video to prove it your bloody camera is crap another replacement one doing exactly the same as the previous one did it's decided that the sd card is in error for some strange reason and the battery is at 38% or thereabouts. Look at it. <laughs> Firmware update, done. Everything, done. Factory reset, done. Get it sorted. And uh, I'm just doing it again before we wrap it up and post it off. Just turn it on, just to see what happens. And here we go. Right, if Lillian can follow the camera. If I have the camera and my camera. Yep. It's even more amusing if you do it quicker. It does that. And it won't record anything. Here we go. I'll try and record. Oh, it's working this time. Yeah, but whether it'll be corrupt video or not is beside the point. Hang on then. So, do that. Oh, look. It's still recording. Yeah. It's not. It's just stalled. And that's what I said. It won't record anything. It's just stalled. Stupid machine. So it's going back. Yes. Yeah. There you go, look. Now it's doing its flashy thing again. Yeah. I don't know. It might be easier to turn it this way for you to see. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. And that will be a corrupt file. Oh, there you go. And the only way to fix it is to do this. Take the battery out. Battery back in, and sometimes when you take it back on, it says corrupt SD card. It probably won't do that. I'm trying to show you. 
No, it hasn't. It hasn't decided the SD card's corrupt this time. Now, this is the problem. We can video stuff and then lose it because of this. Again. We've got a big delivery day today of all the things that we've ordered and a couple of other things that we need as well. And in addition to that, that little man in there is going for some obedience training. He is indeed, yes. So we have, I will not call it an issue, but he guards beautifully. He's really, really good guard dog. He sees everybody off. He lets us know when there's somebody at the gate. But when we call him back, he's more interested in continuing to guard. And we've got to have him, we're, we're the most important thing, not the guarding. So I'm going to see a, late, a specialist lady today and see if she can help. Um, I'll see if she can, will allow me to do any videoing whilst I'm there. I might have my hands too full, in which case I'll just tell you about it afterwards. Uh, but we'll see. Yeah. We'll see how we get on. Be very interesting. It will be very interesting because he's got it in him, definitely, to for obedience and possibly even agility and such like. I don't know. I don't know what she's going to suggest. We'll just have to wait and see, Pi. Indeed. And first thing this morning, everything was white over and it's absolutely freezing cold. It is. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'll see you when you get back. Okie dokie. This little guy, he's often on camera and now he's trying to avoid it. He did really well today at training. The lady thinks that he can be taught what we need him to be taught, which is to listen to us more than his own little brain, his own little peanut. And so we're going to continue with training for a couple of weeks and see what we can achieve. But he had a really good time. So did I. I learned as much as he did. And uh, it's all good to go. We'll see what happens. We have things. <laughs> We have an Amazon delivery! Finally, we've got the light! It's only nearly a week late. I know. Hey, well. So, that's the light. This has got things in it, and I'm not sure why it's got a battery thing there. I don't know what we've ordered that may come with... The water tester. No, it's not supposed to come with any batteries. I know. So, what's in here? Small boxes! Okay, that's the TDS meter. <clears throat> that is for checking the reverse osmosis water. We've got a problem with it. We think the filters are full because the wastewater is just mental now. It wasn't brilliant before, but it's really, really bad now. Yes. So we bought replacement parts. And it actually worked out cheaper to buy the replacement parts as separate parts. Yes, if you bought all, what is it, four filters in total? Um, one, two, three, four, four plus the uh, reverse osmosis membrane itself, yeah. If you bought them as a pack of four, it was more expensive than if you bought three and one. <laughs> well, yeah, four, four and one. Five, yeah. So there you go. Reverse osmosis. Um, I think, yes, it is the correct one. Okay. So I'm changing that because we haven't got enough time in the day to start in the case. Yes. So I'll do that instead. It's a machine. With the other one, when it's like that and the jets go out that way, you're holding it like that and spraying the wall. You then go to, to spray the ceiling with it, bearing in mind my jets are coming out like that. You end up pouring whatever's in here all over yourself. So you do need a specific ceiling one. That's the beastie. Constructed. The idea being, you get your product. I can hold it at this height, spray, even potentially go to that, I'm still level spray, rather than if it was coming out at that angle like the other one, I'd be doing that and covering myself in it. 
Yeah. So well happy. Okay. Four fifty. That's the unfiltered tap water. Yeah. Total TDS is total dissolved solids. And what's supposed to be safe? Um, I can't remember. This is what's coming out of our water filtration system at a minute. It's hovering between 48 and 50. Okay. Okay. 50 is definitely safe. I thought that was supposed to be around the 200 mark, not 400 mark. We'll have to look it up. We'll have to look it up. So, after we've dust all checked, use the magic search engine. As long as the TDS for the water is below 500, it's deemed safe to drink. But the lower the number, the better. So, from that filter machine, it's 50 parts per million. From the tap, it's 450 parts per million. Um, so yes, the membrane is on its way out, but it's in there. This is the lamp all set up. That's jolly good. It's got a little thing there. Rotate it around, just turn it up. Adjust here and down there, so we're good to go. Big base, so, so you can guarantee one of us will trip over it. Yes. Well, this yes. is bright yellow, so we've got more chance of seeing it. Maybe that's why it is bright yellow. Our reverse osmosis system is just in there. If uh, I'm like, let me show you that. Right, that way. Uh, in there, and uh, the water storage tank in here. I'm just turning the, the water off. Feet to the storage tank is now off. Okay, so in, in that other cupboard there yeah. is the storage tank for it. Yes. How many litres that is? Uh, not many actually. Um, I'm um. dealing with smaller amount of space and dogs everywhere. Yes. Right, so what I now need to do is drain this, is a uh, Release the pressure from this system. So I need this back. We're still using this because we're still waiting for have our eco tank fitted and I'm not digging it all up to place the pipe where we want it to go and for it all to be dug up and damaged. Yes. Uh, so we're still using this system at the moment, which is not ideal. It can now all come out as one unit. And the necessary bits be replaced. Awesome. That was clever, you. I'm impressed at that. I thought about it. <laughs> One of the things we've got to change is this canister. Another thing we've got to change is inside this canister. And then we've got to change all the ones that are inside that canister. Okay. So this is just disposable. It's non-repairable or anything able. Uh, and these just, they all just come unclipped. So, just got to make sure it's empty. And that can go there. Got to remove this one and undo this end. We do have the keys. Right. I'm interested to see what colour that filter is. Okay. Crikey! That should be white when it's new, shouldn't it? It is white when it's new. Oh. Wow. And that will be why the uh, membrane that's in there has worn out, I guess. Yes. All that brown. It's a five micron filter. Mad. It's that's a five micron filter. Oh my word. <laughs> cool. He's doing his job then. <laughs> it most definitely is. But guess what? what? Me and the dogs are drinking this. I know, it's your own fault. <laughs> Maybe you should get used to the other stuff. Because that is disgusting. Wow. And we're on mains, clean mains water. I know. We're not on agricultural water like some people are, locally, and use it for drinking. That is disgusting. That is mental. 
Okay, so pull the reverse membrane, uh, reverse osmosis membrane out. And even in there, look, it's dark and it wasn't. Reverse osmosis membrane, double checked, it is exactly the same gallons per day. That's the old one, not too bad. Well, that's the new one. So forget those both under this light. I don't want to put them too close no. to each other. Can you see the difference in colour? Yeah. And it didn't come with any gloves, which is unfortunate. And this just goes in. You don't touch it. I don't know why you don't touch it. It just says don't touch it. And then you slide it in place. And make sure it's slid home. That's it. That's done. It says flow on the sticker point in that way. Or does it have any other marks? Ah, and it corresponds. Double checking. Because the sticker could have been put on upside down. Yeah. Okay. And again, replicating exactly what was there. Done. So of the system, all these things you can change the cartridges, but this one, you it's a standalone unit. You throw away all this plastic. Yeah. Okay. It is a shame. But it is the way it is. Well, sediment sediment. Oh, it's even worse. Oh, it's like rust, but we're on plastic pipes. Okay. And there's some heavy parts in that as well. It's heavy, man. Mm. Uh, it's important that these are in the correct order as well. That's clean as it should be. The way you're looking at it, I'm used to us doing fish tanks and that. You look at you looking for little critters. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have to put a label on for the date that we're doing it so okay. we know. Mm -hmm. Next time. Right, these just all need dipping up. These have got to be flushed first. So I need to put a piece of pipe on here, connect it all back up again, except for that pipe, flush it through until the water runs all clear, and then reconnect this other pipe. Okay. Really, if I'd, have, if I'd have thought about it and we had the fittings, I would put a flushing pipe in here as well. So I could just turn it to flush. Permanent fixture. Yeah. yeah. Just do them up, the hand tight, and then over time, or a little bit, not too much. Right, I'm going to put this in, and it's not going to be mounted to the wall or anything, because I've still got to take it back off again to redo. So this is the flushing pipe. This water is being filtered, but because it's going through the carbon filter, there is a possibility of very small particles of carbon in it. Which is why it's coming out a slightly black Dark. colour. Dark. There's lots of carbon in. Is there? Yeah, there's, there's lots, always lots of carbon in carbon filters. So but we need to wait until it's running clear before yep. we stop this and then put it through its final polishing, ready to drink water. Yes. Well, all I can say is, messy job. Very, very messy. Still Not, good job well done, but yeah. messy. This is why people pay plumbers to come in and do this. Yeah. Because it is a pain in the bum. It's really, really easy. A little tiny cupboard like this. Yeah. Which is why I designed it in that way where it wasn't screwed on, it's just hung on. Yeah. So you just lift it off, put it out here so it's easy. Right. I'll hang it back up. Okay, so everything's all connected up. And uh it's the last filter to be filtered now, flushed. Uh, so I just said to Lily, do you want, we've got another filter to do. She went, what, have you not connected it up? I went, no, but do you want a drink of ink? <laughs> That's the last carbon filter. So I'm going to keep running that and then, I don't know how long that'll take, but again, it's a way, it is part of the system and it's 
a lot of the waste of water to be fair because yeah. that water is actually coming out of the storage tank that's in there yeah. there's a pressurised vessel in there here we go done okay thanks for watching Tales from the Caveside if you like what we do please consider subscribing if you haven't already Drop us a like and leave us a comment. See you on the next one.